turn his boyhood dreams of becoming a moonshiner into reality by starting his own business in Sheffield, Mass. Chris Weld, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here and what's going on back there. That barn's the uh, home of Berkshire Mountain Distillers, a company that I started about two years ago with my wife. Currently, we make a pot still style rum, a gin, and a vodka, and next month we'll be starting bourbons. Sounds tasty. They um, all are quite tasty. <laughs> Can we go inside and look at the process? Certainly, let's go take a look. Okay, so here's where we start the rum. The molasses comes to us in 55 gallon drums. We then dilute it with our spring water. We add some nutrients and some yeast. The yeast eats the sugar that's in the molasses and creates carbon dioxide that's vented off and alcohol. Then pitch it into one of these fermenters here. Here's one of our fermenters here. And inside you'll see the uh, molasses in our therapeutic spring water mixture. It smells good. It smells great. Okay, Chris, can you tell me what's next? Sure, so right here we have the still in which we put whatever we're distilling. And in this case, it's a fermented molasses, which is what we make our rum from. It's a steam-fired still, heats up the material. Alcohol vapors come up over. They come through the condenser up there, get condensed, and come out of spirit. And we distill our rum three different times. Um, the first one, it comes over at about 80 proof, and then towards the end, it's about 160 proof, and we're able to check that with a hydrometer. So now we bottle it up after that, right? And now we bottle it up. You're gonna take two. You're gonna stick them on. You're gonna let them fill to there. And then you're gonna take two more. Stick those on. Oh man, you can't rest. No. Nope. I'm in the weeds, I'm in the weeds, I'm in the weeds. Yeah. This is more difficult than it looks. Your first two are done. Sorry, sorry. It's a workout. This could be a sport. Oh, practice. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got a split now. You got a two, a two five split going. He can't keep up either, look at all these. I'm blaming you. <laughs> oh, you're overflowing. Ah, I'm keep overflowing. Keep them going, keep them going. Okay, Mayday. so this is the final step Mayday. of the process, obviously. Uh, this is, right, Th then they get labeled. And then they get labeled and then you can drink and them. And then you can drink them now if you want. Can I just put my head under one of those? Okay. <laughs> so we've bottled all of them up, but all that work kind of made me thirsty. Do you think we can do a little taste test? Certainly, let's, let's uh, taste some over here on the table. This is our uh, first, first first timers that? tasting ladle. <laughs> no. oh, right off the bottling. So this is a pot still style rum. Um, we leave a lot of the flavor in it, so it drinks a lot more like a whiskey or a cognac than a Cap Where's yours? Captain Morgan's or a. Uh, you drink it from the bottle. I'll drink it from the bottle. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good stuff. Good Good afternoon. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do 20 or 30 takes on that one? <laughs>